Forests and the life-giving oxygen they release have played a major role in the evolution of life on Earth. For the better part of 350 million years, forests have provided a habitat in which a vast array of plants and animals have evolved and continue to evolve to the present day. Their impact on the world's biosphere cannot be understated. Besides offering food and shelter to animals and livelihood to humans, forests mitigate soil erosion and have become a valuable asset in the fight to mitigate climate change. This modern example of a forest ecosystem wasn't always the case here on Earth. The story of the evolution towards modern day forests begins in the sea. Approximately 500 million years ago during the late Cambrian, a form of green algae was on its way to becoming the first plant to exploit Earth's untapped terrestrial environment. This invasion is thought to have occurred along low-lying coastal regions where algal mats containing these green algae were frequently exposed to atmospheric conditions due to large-scale tidal fluxes. Following this, approximately 35 million years later during the Mador Division, primitive non-vascular plants similar to liverworts and mosses were believed to have first appeared. These plants had no roots, no seeds, and reproduced through simple dispersal of spores. These fossilized spores were used as markers for dating plant life through time. Early Devonian plants did not have roots or leaves, and many had no vascular tissue. Between 480 to 360 million years ago, the transition to vascular plants occurred. Fluids and nutrients were no longer absorbed to the cell, but transported through tissue that contained vessels and ducts. Capable of growing to greater heights and dispersing spores to greater lengths, primitive vascular plants such as Silophyton acted as simple stepping stones to reach more successful seedless vascular plants such as ferns. Fossil evidence from approximately 380 million years ago records the appearance of the first known forests on Earth. This forest is preserved in New York and is named the Gilboa Fossil Forest. Some of the fossils were up to 8 metres in size and came from the fern-like group known as Cladoxylopsis. Larger trees of the extinct group Progymnosperms, such as Archaeopteris, began to evolve. These plants were the ancestors of modern conifers that reproduced using seeded cones that dropped to the forest floor. Archaeopteris was a primitive fern that grew up to 21 metres in height and remained part of the Earth's primitive forests for the next 60 million years. During the Carboniferous, from 355 to 295 million years ago, flora underwent an extraordinarily successful period, thought to have been a result of ideal environmental conditions, such as higher temperatures and shorter days across much of the globe. Never in Earth's history had there been more forests than in the second half of the Carboniferous. Common fossils found from this time period include parts of club moss trees, such as roots, fragments of bark and spore cones. Horsetail trees, seed ferns and herbal club mosses were also prevalent. During the end of the Carboniferous, large areas of wetland covered the tropical environments. A genus of gymnosperms called chordates were among the most common trees found within these coal forests. They had long, ribbon-like leaves that could reach 75 centimetres in length. During the Carboniferous, many plants such as the chordates made extensive use of lignin, which is a structural carbohydrate found at the bark of trees. Trees at this time had a far higher ratio of bark to wood than that of today, sometimes 20 to 1. Organisms of the Carboniferous had not yet evolved to break down this toxic and insoluble substance, and so allowed the build-up of undergraded carbon across the world. Layers upon layers of undergraded organic carbon became buried, allowing enormous quantities of peat to accumulate, which under pressure and extreme heat became the coal seams we see today. From the mid-Devonian to the early Carboniferous, there was a huge increase in both plant diversity and biomass. This led to vast quantities of oxygen being released and comprising almost 35% of the Earth's atmosphere in comparison with the 21% of today. This carbon sink removes CO2 from the atmosphere, cooling the Earth's climate. During the Middle and Late Devonian, the arrival of tree-like plants caused major impacts to both soil weathering processes and global geochemical cycles. Rooting trees form soils in a process known as pedogenesis, whereby rock is mechanically and biologically degraded into soil. This led to large-scale environmental changes such as larger sediment yields and increased fluvial nutrient fluxes. From this, eutrophic conditions emerged in the Earth's epicontinental waterways. The bacterial breakdown of the resultant organic detritus led to mass algal blooms, creating global anoxic conditions. 
On land, many of these newly developing plants would soon become intrinsic to the creation of land's ecosystems through the provisions of both food and shelter for the newly integrated fauna. The evolution to forest is one of the most important sequence of events to be recorded in Earth's history. Beginning with green algae approximately 500 million years ago, Earth has evolved forests of immense diversity and incredible beauty, which remain intrinsic to our current existence. At present, forests cover 30% of the land and this is being reduced every day due to deforestation. The protection of our forests is paramount in preserving natural balance of geochemical cycles, soil weathering processes and precious ecosystems that exist worldwide.